We're going to take a look at the chord progression and a little strumming and basically how to play We've Only Just Begun pretty much the way the Carpenters did it, which was pretty much the definitive version. Now, it includes a lot of major seven, minor seven chords, um, some seven sus chords, although we may call them 11 chords, depending on how we decide to, or how you choose to play them. I'm going to give you a lot of options in this. We're going to talk about double time strumming because it's a slow song. Quarter notes are going about this fast, but we have to do it with double time strumming, meaning two downs per quarter note. Basically, the strokes are at the speed of 16th notes then. Otherwise, it'll just sound kind of... No life to it. And then, of course, we have a little speed change and a key change. Not a speed change, but... Kind of like we got it, it has to pick up a little bit so we've got a couple of key changes it goes from the key of a in the verse to start the the chorus starts in f sharp and then drops into b flat and then comes back with some unusual chords anyway a lot of cool stuff in this song and um really interesting history of the song too so it, it first of all believe it or not started out as a jingle written by roger nichols and paul williams who had been collaborating on a lot of songs but hadn't really hit it big yet they later on did with uh, Three Dog Night out in the country. They also wrote um, Rainy Days and Mondays, later on, you know, another, another hit for the Carpenters. But um, started out as a jingle for Crocker Bank, a bank in San Francisco that was trying to attract new young customers. And so the, the jingle didn't even ever mention the bank, but it did just have these words, we've only just begun. They were trying to attract a young crowd until, and so this ran for a while till they realized the young crowd didn't have anything for collateral for loans and pretty much they decided they got to stop this because it's not working. So it wasn't a very successful advertising campaign, uh, but it did catch the attention of Richard Carpenter and he thought it was a cool tune and he recognized the voice in the commercial. It was Paul Williams singing it and they were acquainted through A&M Records that they were both under contract to. So he hits Paul up and says, hey, tell me more about that song. Is there more to it other than just two verses? And he says, oh, yeah, we've got a chorus and a third verse. It's like a complete song. And now the rest is pretty much history. It became the second number one hit for the Carpenters, who had struggled through their first album. But the second album led off with Burt Bacharach's tune, um, Close to You, and Hal David, of course, another, another prolific songwriting team. And uh, this was their second hit from 1970 so close to you the album close to you came out in 1970 and all of a sudden this was their first two number one hits close to you and we've only just begun and it was the first big hit for paul williams and roger nichols so that kind of set their career down a great path too so anyway um enough of the history of the song we're going to talk about major seven and minor seven chords and suspended chords as i mentioned before and uh, a lot of bar chords in this we're going to be playing b flat major seven to e flat major seven we'll talk about a couple different ways of playing that and um i think that's it as far as the preliminaries here so coming up a little breakdown of we've only just begun <laughs> 